Hello, Maximo. How are you? Maximo, everything okay? Maximo, can you hear me? Write in the chat or thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, Maximo, let me know when you fix it or when you're able to talk. Good evening, teacher. Hey. How are you? Good, good. How about you? I'm fine. I did my task, my old task in yeah. this day. Oh, wow. That's great. It feels good when you complete everything, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. I see, is, I see some people are having difficulties connecting. They connect, they disconnect. I don't know what happened. Yes. By the rain. Yeah, I think so because in near my house it's raining too. And when it rains, I don't know why, but always the internet is not the same. It's not the same stability. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's uh the idea is that the internet is is with cable, is not it, it should be fine, it should be stable, but you never know. Mm-hmm. With cable is better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. So, hey, I see we also have... Uh, oh, Daniel is not going to be able to... Oyente. Yeah, I just saw the message, Oyente, on there. Okay. Well, it's okay. <coughs> Sometimes it happens. Okay. All right. I see we have... Uh, I don't know. Jamie, I think it is. Jamie Lopez also that's connecting. Jamie, can you hear me? Okay, maybe Jamie also is unable to listen. Mm hmm Okay, maybe only you and me today, Maximo. Yes, teacher. All right. Well, if it's me and you, let's go ahead and continue then. Let's get started. Um, and hopefully the other people can join or they'll be able to do other things mm -hmm. in a moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So today, today, Maximo, we're going to be starting off with 1.8 in the platform. And 1.8 in the platform is this objective. Can you please read the objective to me? By the end of this class, participants will learn, understand, and practice expressing regrets <laughs> and hypothetical situation which should have plus past participles and if clauses. Correct. So the most important is here, we're going to be looking at past tense, but to express regrets, things that we would like to change in the past. To change in the past, we're going to use the word have. And we're going to use today the model should have. So, for example, me, I, I wanted to study English last year. I should have started last year. This is expressing the regret or expressing the way that I want to change something in the past. Is that okay, Maximo? Okay. Good. Jamie, are you connected now? Can you speak? You should, you uh, should have is the same 
advice? No, it's not the same advice, Maximo. Advice is no have. Advice is only should. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's going to be the difference. So here we're going to see a small video to give us a little bit better uh, information and more clarity on the idea. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. Okay, so before we practice it, let's make sure that we understand the structure. Here, we're looking at the ideas of subject should have. is not a recommendation. It is used to speculate about things that did or didn't happen. So in the past, I went to the party. What happens if I didn't go to the party? What should I have done? Oh, in this case, you can use I should have or I shouldn't have to talk about the things that you wish to change in the past. So I'll give you an example. I had an accident yesterday. I was driving and I crashed my car. Now I think, why? What I can do different? Well, one, I shouldn't have drank alcohol. Maybe this. Two, I should have paid attention because it was raining. I should... All of this is the idea to talk about past action and change what happened. You cannot change is only to imagine, only, only to imagine the things and what you would do in those situations. Is that okay? Any questions? It's okay. Okay. Ana Morena, Jane? Yes, I agree. Okay, good. Now, the second part of that grammar lesson. That second part is here in the conditional. This is called the third conditional, but the most important is the structure. This is the structure. If, subject plus had, and the past participle. So, as an example, if I had paid attention... I wouldn't have crashed my car. If I hadn't drunk Pilsener, okay, I could be at home today. These are the idea for what we have. This is called the third conditional. Are there any questions in this moment? Because in just a second, we're gonna practice using it. No? 
more okay? It's because uh, in this case, you have, uh, it's confused for me because you use have maybe, but it's fast. But when it's in the, the person who is in future, uh, eliminate the have. Okay, Anna, can you try one more time um, to make your question? It's the internet was a little bit a little bit weird. Go ahead. One more time, Anna. Okay. For me it's complicated because it's in the past and use had. This this word had is complicated for me. I don't know when I had to use. You use it for the past. So let me make sure that we have it correct. Had is for the past. Have is for the present. Is yes, at the bear is confused for me. And and when when you say is I have the verb is in the past too, or is normal because you use had. No, uh, when you use had, uh, good question. I understand now clearly. So when you use had, you're going to use the verb in the past participle. This is the importance of learning the verbs in the past participle. So if you use uh -huh. had, you use past participle. The same. The same if you use have, you use the verb with past participle. Always when you use have or had, the verb is in past participle. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So maybe this part can help you a little bit more, Anna. If you look here, um, I can share you the structure that we're going to use. In the part with if, we are going to use the past perfect as an example here. If I had studied, okay? In the second part of the sentence, we are going to use the models. Normally, would, could, might, or should, and then the structure with have. What is the difference? If, had. The other, have. And here are the examples. Okay, so what happened if you study? Last year, I didn't study. Okay, ah, but if I had studied, I would have passed the exam. This is the idea for last year or before. Now, with these structures, you can have them in different order. It's not obligation to begin with if. You can have in different forms. Is that a little bit better? Yes? Okay. Yes, it's more clear. Good, okay. Please take a screenshot or copy in your notebook. That way you have the information, whatever is easier for you, okay? Why it's necessary? Because in one moment, we are going to practice the different structures. That's okay? Okay. So now I'm going to give you a few links that are going to be in the chat. Um, give me one second, I will write, I will open them up. And the idea is we are going to practice first with multiple choice, and then we are going to use the writing, okay? So, oops. here we go. Please check the chat and make sure you have the three links. Uh, it's necessary to open the three links before we go to the groups, because when we go to the groups, the links disappear. So please open the three chats or copy and paste into notes or notepad. And then we're going to begin practicing with our partners.
Okay. Does everybody have the three links open? <coughs> yes, you have the three links. Morena, Jamie. Yes. All right. Let's see. Good. Thank you, Daniel. Don't worry, but I don't listen. Maximo, do you have the three links? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. We got Maximo. Yes. Uh, Morena, do you have the three links? Yes. Good. Anna, do you have the three links? Could you repeat, please? Because I don't know why I have a problem with, with an inter internet. Maybe oh. it's because it's raining, but I am this, um, oh, how, much, how do you say the connectant? <laughs> Disconnecting. Connecting oh. a, a, lot of, a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Yes, in the chat, there are three links. Please copy the links or open the links. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Jamie Lopez. Let me write Jamie Lopez because I think Jamie Sosoyente. Do you listen, Jamie? Okay, Jamie, I try one more time. Okay, so then we're gonna change Jamie for Oyente because if she can't talk, then she cannot participate. Uh -huh, let me change her name. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and practice those with our partners, okay? So you have the three links. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's see, one moment. Okay, so let's try it and see if you can complete the three options with your partner. We have 10 minutes to complete the three links. 10 minutes to complete the three links.
Okay. Okay. Yes. I share. Um, I, I share it. Anna. Anna. Yes. 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 Uh, I. Okay. Okay. Start with number one. If you. If, if you, you had right. If, if you, you had. Open the the, the answer, please. Uh huh. Uh, if you had asked me, yes, because it's past participle. If you had, mm -hmm. if you had I, asked me, uh huh. Yes, is if you had asked 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 me. If I think, if you had. Yes. 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 We are we are agree as you, a Maximo. If you had. Yeah. Ask yes. me. I would I have, have told you the truth. Okay. Yes. Okay. Number two. Uh huh. We have. We have because we have because got lost. And then, if we. Uh huh. No. If we. If we would have had. Ajá, if we didn't have, no, no. No nos hubiéramos perdido. No nos hubiéramos, no nos hubiéramos perdido, creo. Si nosotros yeah. no hubiésemos. If we had and had. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, Maximo. That is. Hadden, hadden. Yeah, hadden, correct. Ok, number three. If you had had a son. Had had, if you. If you would have had a son. Yes, had had is correct, yes. If you had had a son, eh, would you have called him Sam? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Number yes, four. Okay. Number four. Uh, in the shop. The shop. If the shop have have been open, they will they will have about something. If Anna had a known that. She, she will have a some. Which one? Which one, a uh, classmate? For me, she have. Will have. Yeah, and the first is if Anna. We will Anna. have come back early. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Number six. We. Open the uh -huh, we have son a son son a son if somebody will have played the guitar yeah you can uh, check which ah uh, when number two you did okay no. Number, number two, two and number six. We'll have. Okay. We wouldn't have got lost. <laughs> we are learning, right? Yeah. Check again. Okay. Oh. Nah. Hey. What? Wow. If somebody will. Okay. Have. Yes. I'm your person. Okay. Secondly. No. Um, do you sure. have any questions? Okay, okay, okay. Continue, Maximo, with another link, please. Anna, mm -hmm. can you open, Maximo? Okay, yeah. okay.
Mm. Okay. Can you open the I door? Need... I... Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Continue with the second. Having good health. Have or will have exercise. Uh -huh. Have or will have. Okay, okay. Okay. We have to analyze the the, the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. If he will have told me. Yeah, if he will if he have ha told me. Si me hubiera dicho, I think, or no. Or, what do you think, Ana and Maximo? I don't know. If I'm he, sure. if, if he has told me, it's correct. Have. Have, yes. Okay. I, I will have gone. Mm. Have or will have? I have. Will have. I have. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Will have. Will we'll have. have. Uh huh. Uh huh. Will have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! We have only one. Okay, everybody's almost finishing up. We're going to take a look one more time. Let's take a look at the exercises. la universidad me toca como encantas okay how was that everybody's okay ah excellent question Daniel two times had because one is the auxiliary and one is the verb had is always the obligation and the other is the verb whenever you use mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? No, it's clear. And can you use when is, would have had? Yes, you can use would have had. So, for example, I can say I would have had one million dollars or one thousand mm dollars. -hmm. I would have had one thousand dollars if okay if I and then the activities. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, any other questions? All right, if there are no other questions, now we're going to try to do it together to make sure that everybody understood the idea of the conditionals. So we're going to have Maximo number one, Alba number two, Ana number three, Morena number four, we go in the circle, okay? So here, what are we going to do? 1.10. Here we have 1.10. 
go ahead and put these words that are in the parentheses, put them in the correct order to make a sentence, to complement here. So as an example, if I had, if I'd listened to my parents, and what do we put? Uh huh. Okay, Morena, you want to do number one? Okay, go ahead, Morena. It was going to be maximum, but go ahead. I'm going to try because um I I have some um confused, but I'm going to try, right? Okay, try it. Uh, okay, I I could have. Uh huh. I will have. Pragmatic more decisions. Okay. Okay. And what about the word made? Where are you going to oh, put? Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I will have. Oops. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Have make pragmatic more decisions. Yeah. Okay, made here. Okay, what have made pragmatic more decisions. Okay, good. Number two. Okay, let's try. Number two. Maybe number two. Um, number two, teacher. Okay, Anna. I don't remember. If I number two or three, <laughs> it's okay, Anna. You can try, no problem. We are if, learning. <laughs> if I uh, be more active, mm -hmm. active, active, I, I wouldn't. Overweight. Okay, and the verb to be is uh, is a uh, uh, I don't know. The I is it has no no with a verb to be with a bin only a verb to be. Where do we put it? Between wouldn't and uh, overweight. Okay. 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 I wouldn't. Bean. Bean. Okay. All right. It's bad. It's bad. Don't worry. We're going to see. Okay. Relax. What about the next one? Number three. Maximo, you were number three? No. Yes. I mm -hmm. I could have gotten permission. A promotion. A promotion. A promotion. Okay. I could have gotten a promotion. Good. The next one, number four. Period. Period. Okay. Thank you. Number four. Let me see in the chat. I see Danielle wrote, could I have more learned a lot? Okay. Thank you, Danielle. All right. What about number five? Who was number five? Was that Morena? The next one? Or oh, Alba? Okay. 
Okay, Mona. If I have. If I say money. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be broke now. Okay, what about as and am and the other part? If I had to say money, I wouldn't be broke as now as. Now as. Now as. Huh? And am. Um, I ate him. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna check. Okay. All right. Let's. Don't worry. We're gonna see right now. Mistakes are okay. Mistakes are part of the process of learning. So let's take a look. We have a few mistakes. Let me help you out. Number one, <clears throat> I would have made more pragmatic decisions. So we put I would have made pragmatic more. Only is necessary, change the order. No pragmatic more, but is more, okay? More pragmatic decisions. This is the correct order, okay? Like that. In number two, I wouldn't been overweight, okay? Remember, the verb is to be. So I wouldn't be overweight. When you use had, the verb is in past participle. When you use the models, would, could, might, the verb is in present, right? Remember, only past participle with have or with had. Number three, I could have gotten a pair of, hang on, let's see. I could have gotten a promotion. Correct. I could have gotten a promotion. Very nice. Number four is not a question. Remember, questions begin with could. Could, can, may, but in sentence is opposite. I could have learned a lot more. Number five, I wouldn't be broke as now as. We have the correction. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. This is the idea. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Okay. It's okay? Thank you. It's okay. Good. Any questions? Anybody that is not clear? All right, good. So that is the idea for how to use the regrets. Now we're going to just listen and practice a little bit the pronunciation, the reduction. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Okay. So here it's just the pronunciation. The idea is instead of saying I should have, many Americans pronounce I should of. Instead of saying I should have been, many Americans say I should have been. That is the idea for you to understand the pronunciation. So if someone speaks, you understand what they are saying. Okay. Any questions at this moment?
Okay. So now we're going to listen to three people. We're going to listen to Barbara, Alex, and Jishon. Please listen and identify the regrets for each person. We will check after we listen to all of them. Page 76, exercise 11, listening, regrets. Part A, listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. One, Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen. Okay. So, let's take a look. For Barbara, what did Barbara say? She said she didn't take typing class in high school. Okay. Didn't take typing. Good. What about for Alex? What is his regret? Stop exercising. Okay. Stopped exercising. And what about Jishun? Didn't learn to play the guitar as a, as a kid. Okay. Good. Of course, if there's only one option, that should be the last one, right? So as you can see, all of those are correct. Those are the correct answers for all of them. Okay, so we have listening exercise. That means that today we finish unit one. In this moment, we're going to take up and we're going to make groups and practice what we learned today. Today, we learned how to use conditionals and talks about regrets and talk about things in the our past. So as an example, oh, I wish I wish I had learned how to how to type code, how to code in high school. I didn't learn and then I think today is very important to code for your jobs or for many many good paying jobs, right? Or I can make the complete sentence. <clears throat> if I had learned to code, I would have gotten a job in a different area. So the idea is you can describe with two different structures, only, oh, I wish, and the ideas, or the complete sentence. So think about your life. Are you happy, not happy, the car, the ex, the things, and describe them, right? Oh, if I had saved money, I would have bought a Toyota Corolla, as an example, right? So we're going to have five minutes with our partners. With our partners, we want to talk about regrets, things that we wish we could have changed using today's grammar structures.
Okay, let's try. <coughs> Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. 
people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. Okay, was that a little bit easier? It's okay to be able to express yourself? Okay, give me an example. What did you tell your partners? Yes, and the example is my classmate, um, Maximo. Mm -hmm. And he said, if I had more money if I have money I will buy a Ferrari <laughs> okay good very good the grammar is not correct but the good idea if I had more money I would buy a Ferrari or in the past I would have bought a Ferrari Ah, okay. okay. We used to have when the berries in the past, right? Correct. Would, uh, have, it would have both because it's in the past. When you say in the present, mm -hmm. don't use have. It's I would have, I would buy. Correct. This is the difference. Uh, the have okay. is for the past and the verb is for the present. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You're welcome. Morena, tell me about your partner. Yes, um, my partner was Alba. Alba, if, if, if she, if she um, chef, she will earn a lot of money. Okay, please repeat. If she had? If she had, if she had a chef. A chef? Chef, yes. Okay, no had a chef. If she were a chef. If she were a chef. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of money. Good. She would have a lot of money. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Alba, tell me about your partner. Um, if she were in, in visible, I don't, I don't know if that's the correct word. If she were in visible. Invisible. Okay. Invisible. She would, she would get in and to to shoe stores and take a lot of pair of shoes. Okay, okay, very good. This is different grammar. It's correct a sentence, but it's not the correct the grammar. The difference is, if she were invisible, is not in the past. This is in the oh. present, and this is why. You need had for the past. Had is for change the reality in the past. Would is for the imagination in the moment. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the difference. So, for example, if I were a woman, I'm not a woman. But okay. in the past, if I had married a woman, ah, this is the difference for past or present okay maximo give me an example okay i think maximo has and Anna, some... Anna, Anna oh. said okay maximo uh, do you hear me yes okay anna 
was my partner. Mm -hmm. And she said, if, if she will, will study English, mm. When she in was young, age. young? Mm -hmm. Yes, in the high school. Okay. High school. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh, she, she, mm, she, uh, didn't study English now. Okay. Thank you, Maximo, for the idea. Is not to correct the grammar. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Good idea. Maximo, please look in the chat because mm -hmm. you have many mistakes in the grammar. So yes. let's start with this. If she had studied English in high school, this is the first part. Remember, there are two parts to the sentence. This is the first part. If she had studied English in high school. Mm, okay. okay. And then you can have two forms for the answer. What is the consequence? Remember, this is like cause and effect. That is the cause. What is the effect? Mm -hmm. what, is the, what is the consequence now? Oh, okay. So she wouldn't, as an example, you can have, she wouldn't study, okay, English now, okay? This is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. This is called mixed conditional because we okay. mix the different times. In the third conditional is the, the same if she had studied English in past and then the effect in the past. The effect in the past is she would or she wouldn't have, okay? She would, if she had studied English in high school, I'm going to change and I say, she would have gotten a better job. Ah, no, in this moment, but in the past. So if she studied English in the past, in the past, she got a better job. This is the correct way to make the grammar. Okay. Is that okay, Maximo? It's okay. Okay, we're going to try one more to make sure that it's correct for everybody. Uh, Monena, give me one example for you, for your life. I could have spoke English very well if I had a personal teacher. Almost correct. Almost correct. The only part where you made the mistake is if, hang on, if I had a personal teacher. I'm if going I had to a personal to... teacher, I would have spoke English very well. So, so, you are, because if I had is ahorita, if I had, remember in the past, had and the verb, had and the verb. So if I had, gotten a personal teacher if i had had a personal teacher if i had received but had is the time and the other is the action okay good yeah, alba, okay. alba give me an example if if i have learned to swim Okay, pronunciation, if I had, if I had learned to swim. Mm -hmm. If I had learned to swim, I wouldn't be scared of, of the pools. Okay, more or less, more or less, Alba. Think about in the past, what would be the consequence in the past? So, for example, Alba, okay, if I had learned to swim, okay, I would, hang on, I'll put in the chat for you, I would have 
gone, I would have gone to the beach more. Oh, okay. Because this is not the consequence now. This is the consequence in the past. This is the idea that we are learning today. Okay? okay. But don't, don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to practice a little bit more and begin unit two. Thank you again for connecting. And tomorrow we continue. Okay? Uh, uh, Monday, right? No, tomorrow. 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 Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Friday. Friday the 29th. From eight to nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Good night.